Shalom, blessing from Jerusalem. My name is Daniel Rosen, and I want to share in my testimony, my life. I'm from Holocaust survivor family. My grandma passed through the Holocaust, and I'm growing with very painful stories in my life. I remember this day today I was traveling from Hamburg to, to Auschwitz, two weeks in the train, no water, no drink, and there was many people died, and it was in crematorium with two children, and by miracle she survived with my mom and her brother, and her sister was died. And uh, like all the Jewish people in Israel, they was passed through many, and I grew up with unforgiveness and pain for German people. But uh, 21 years ago, my life never be the same. In 1991, I working with one uh, brother from Holland, and he's a nurse, and he shared to me about Yeshua the Messiah. And he invited me to one small congregation in Jerusalem, in Bethlehem Road. And I one day decided to visit. From that time, I visit this congregation, there's like 30 people, and they will love me, welcome me so much, and I, but I do not understand the New Testament. I know the Old Testament very well, because from my mother and father's side, from the, I'm from the rabbi family, and we all of us know the Old Testament and Book of Prayers, of course. But uh, one day, I decided to read the New Testament, but I don't understand very well. I was trying, but it's very hard for me to understand the New Testament. And very early in the morning, I was traveling from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem. And when you pass through Jerusalem, uh, go to Jerusalem, up to Jerusalem, you see the Judean hills. And I see the huge hand in a bus. And his hand, I hear the voice. And the voice, what I hear, everything what I create by sand and water, life or dead, Chaim or Mavit, life or dead. And I was so afraid. Very early in the morning, I visit this congregation in Bethlehem Road, and I'm waiting one hour until pastor come. And I'm sharing to him, he said to me, Daniel, the Lord is calling you with extraordinary way. You must repent. But I feel, why I need to repent? I'm a good person. I not take drugs, alcohol, also other things. I'm a good person. I don't need to repent. And he put his hand in my shoulder and start to pray. And I feel so much cry. And I'm asking forgiveness. God, forgive me. For my eyes was not in holiness. And everything what I speak, not in purity, in holiness. And I live not in holiness before you. And I asking forgiveness, Lord forgive me, cleanse me, purify me. And I was never pray like this in my life and I feel the peace in my heart. And from, from that time I never be the same. Thank <laughs> you.